The quadratic formula is regularly pulled out of thin air and given to students to learn, but where does it actually come from? To answer this question, we'll start with a small warm-up. 255 squared minus 254 squared. To solve this, we start with the general equation a squared minus b squared. We can visualise this equation by drawing a square with side lengths a and then removing a chunk from the corner with side lengths b. When doing this, you're left with a shape that's area is exactly a squared minus b squared. Notice that when you do this, you're effectively left with a smaller square and two rectangles with long side length a minus b and a small side length b. If we take the top rectangle and place it alongside the bottom rectangle, we're left with a new rectangle who has lengths a minus b and a plus b. So from this we can conclude that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Therefore, 255 squared minus 254 squared is easy to find. It's 255 plus 254 multiplied by 1, or 509. Now, let's apply our insight of drawing the equations as shapes and manipulating them geometrically to the quadratic formula. We'll start off with a standard quadratic, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. We'll subtract c from both sides and divide through by a, so that the coefficient in front of x squared is equal to 1. Now we draw our x squared as a square with side lengths x, b over a times x as a rectangle with side lengths x and b over a, and c over a as a rectangle with side lengths c over a and 1. Now we take our middle rectangle and split it into two even parts, these parts of the area b over 2a times x. We move these pieces onto either side of our square. Notice that when we do this, we get a shape that's very nearly a new square, just missing a small piece from the corner. We can clearly see that the area of this smaller piece is b over 2a all squared. If we wish to complete the square, we can add b over 2a all squared to each side of the equation to keep it balanced. This gives us a new formula, where the left hand side is a square. We can start to simplify this. And we can see now after our simplification that the quadratic formula drops out.